All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, buckle on in. We've got loads of softball regional action coming your way. We're going to kick things off in Medford, where they were taking on GNC foe Lakeland Union. The Raiders were down 2 nothing heading into the sixth inning. Thunderbirds hoping to pull off the upset and add more runs to their lead. They've got runners at second and third, and they're going to try the bunt squeeze, but it's going to backfire. They get the first out here at first, and then the runner at third is caught in a pickle. Eventually, she's going to get tagged out, and Medford survives the inning without giving up a single run. Big news for Medford because then in the bottom half, two runners on, Larissa Klapatowski launches this one deep to left field and gone. Just like that, Medford takes the lead. They put up five runs in the inning. Last chance for Lakeland, but this line drive is caught. The Raiders will survive this scare, winning 5-2. to two. To Edgar we go where the Wildcats were hosting Bowler Gresham. Edgar got off to a great start in this one. Top half of the first inning, they strike out the side with nine straight strikes. And then the bats would get going in the bottom half. This one is absolutely smoked into right center field. But this play is going to come down. A play at the plate. She is safe. Wildcats up one. Later on, this one is dropped beautifully into the outfield. Another run is going to come home. Edgar, clearly the better team in this one. Bases are now loaded, but not for much longer. This one's crushed, and everyone is coming on home. Edgar would go on to win this game 18 to nothing. They will face off against Three Lakes Phelps next. Athens was at home taking on Clear Lake. We're going to jump to the second inning of this one. This ball is hit deep into the outfield and it's going to go all the way to the wall. She'd end up with a triple and coach going to make sure to she celebrates. Hey, wave at the camera. Hello. Love that so much. A few pitches later, this ball gets past the catcher. Blue Jay is coming home. She dives head first and is safe at the plate. Athens up three. Then later on, runner on third again. This one is popped up and it's going to be a routine play in the infield, but I guess it's deep enough because the runner's tagging. Another big time collision at the plate, but she is safe. Blue Jays win this game easily 15 to 1. Athens will host Thorpe next week, and I promise I will wave back next time. Some more regional softball scores. Mosinee wins a close game against Merrill 3-2. They'll face off against New London this Thursday. Then in Anago, the Red Robins win a pitcher's duel 1-0. Anago will travel to Medford to take on the Raiders for a chance to win a regional title. Tomahawk Hatchets pull off an upset by beating Clintonville 3-1. Hopefully the slipper still fits next round as they take on top-seeded Peshtigo. Then in Hurley, uh, North Stars win a tight game against Clayton Turtle Lake 2-0. Hurley will take on Grantsburg later this week. 